Hi guys, uh, my name is Mano. Um, basically, uh, this is not my idea of fun. Um, I'm being forced to do this. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm not one to be this side of the camera, but I am one for eating, baking and cooking. So, um, we, um, I've been asked nicely to uh, share with you a uh, lovely uh, cookie recipe. It's a chocolate chip cookie recipe. Um, comes out nice and gooey for, you, for those of you that like your, your cookies nice, crumbly and soft. Um, so it's really easy, nice and simple. You can make the mixture the, the night before and cook them the, the day after, that's also fine too. Um, so basically um, we're going to start with uh, 250 grams um, self-rising flour um, and then we've also got uh, about 2 grams of baking soda here. Um, corn flour goes a long way, you just need about a, um, about a teaspoon and a half of corn flour, it just helps with the, um, uh, with the rich mouthfeel texture of the cookie. Um, okay, so we've also got some uh, packed brown sugar here, um, it's nice, dense, rich, adds a lovely um, texture to your cookie, as well as um, another 100, 100 grams of just plain white sugar. Um, you'll need one full egg and also just an egg yolk. Again, just adding more uh, richness, lovely texture to your cookie. Um, we need some vanilla essence. Um, also, um, I've got some ready prepared melted butter um, and then the best part are the chocolate, chip, chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so first things first, we have to uh, put the, so, so, turn the oven on. Um, depending on the make of your oven, I find 165 degrees in a fan oven is absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to flick that on. 165. So while that's heating up, we'll be combining uh, the ingredients together. But first things first, as well, we need to wash our hands. So, okay. So the oven is set, um, and we're going to combine all our ingredients together. Um, in this bowl, I have uh, the melted butter. Now the thing to remember is um, your butter mustn't be too hot. So once you melt it, let it come down a little bit. Uh, and what you do is you add your uh, dark brown sugar. You will then add your 100 grams of white sugar. And then just give that a good stir. Okay, so into that we are going to uh, break the egg. And additionally, we are going to add the egg yolk. And I'm also going to add in about 15 ml of vanilla extract or vanilla essence. And then just give that a nice good stir. Okay, I'm going to set that aside and for my dry ingredients, I've got my flour, I'm going to add the uh, bicarb of soda and the corn flour.
obviously do remember to sift your flour beforehand. Okay. So I'm going to add my dry ingredients into the uh, butter sugar egg mixture. Just give that a bit of a mix. I think what I'll do at this point is swap over to a wooden spoon. something easy you can even do with the kids it's just a few bowls and the kids can get really nice sticky sticky wet fingers making these or you can just make them for yourself or give them to your diabetic boyfriend which is what I'll be doing okay once that's come together nicely we can now add are delicious dark chocolate chips. You can use milk chocolate or dark chocolate, whichever you prefer. That's a lot of chocolate. might find is that sometimes when you make cookies they spread up quite they go quite flat and um, they can um, sort of um, cook into each other the way to go around this is to uh, refrigerate your mixture make it uh, cooler um, so if you pop it in the fridge bring the temperature down um, and that will help you uh, maintain the shape of the cookie and uh, give you a little bit more body in the center of the cookie, which is what we will do. So we'll pop this in the fridge, and then um, we'll go on to the next bit, which will be to get the cookies into the oven. Okay, once our mixture has cooled, we take it out of the fridge. Okay, so basically, um, you want it sort of about three tablespoons to make one cookie um, and you want to get a nice sort of tall shape shaped cookie mm -hmm. now I know what you're going to say that it looks like but it won't taste anything like that um, and what you do is you just sort of stack them up high um, obviously before you're doing this you wash your hands which I did do um, and you wash them very well as we're all doing uh, at this point in time um, so we mold our cookies onto a um, baking tray and you line it with some grease proof paper um, for this recipe I've used um, dark chocolate chips um, as it turns out, Jamie doesn't like dark chocolate, so that's why I'm using dark chocolate. Um, you can also um, use milk chocolate, white chocolate chips. Um, if you've got a bar of cooking chocolate in your cupboard, you can break that up. You can smash it up into little pieces, break that up, break that up into your mixture as well. Um, and um, yeah, basically any sort of cooking chocolate will do really. So, okay, so we'll start by putting these in the oven. Um, you can cook them for about sort of 15 to 17 minutes. Just keep an eye out on them. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're going to pop these in and see what comes out. Okay, so these have been in the oven for about 15 minutes. 
They smelled absolutely delicious. Let's have a look. Oh, now look at that. So even though um, we stacked them up high, you can see they sort of um, did melt together, but those will come apart quite easily. Um, so before you tuck in, careful, it is very, very hot. So let them cool, they'll firm up, and then you can start tucking in. So we're just going to put these to the side and then we'll give them a taste. Okay, so our cookies have cooled down. Um, I've just boiled the kettle and I'm pouring myself a nice cup of tea, which will go perfect with these cookies. So now for the tasting. So as you can see, beautiful, soft, chewy, gooey. Oh, that chocolate is totally molten and uh, now let's give that a little taste mmm Jamie you will not like these best you don't have any mm. so guys get in your kitchen get baking um, please do not click like or subscribe to any part of this um, podcast because um, I do not want to get roped into doing this again. Um, on the plus side, I get to boss Jamie around for once, but hopefully this will be my first and last time. Thank you very much. Goodbye from me.